Today we are going to review and break down Usher's skating portion of the halftime show. I want to show you that you too can do this choreography, you too can do these moves. And if you do want to learn how to skate, if you do want to learn how to do these certain skills, please check out my memberships and my course on thatnicolefiori.com or my memberships right here on YouTube. The number one thing that was wild in this show is the timing. So the choreography, everything is super, super fast. And there were some mistakes. So we are going to talk about the timing first because he had one minute. If you've ever put roller skates on, you know that that is actually very difficult. And especially with how sweaty he was putting on an outfit, I can't even imagine, honestly. He says bye uh, at about 8.31 in this video, it's eight minutes, 31 seconds. He's off camera, fully off camera by eight minutes, 33 seconds. And then he is back on stage. He's supposed to be on stage at about 9.32. He actually gets on stage at 9.33. He's late to his mark. But before we get into that, the girls come in at 8.56 and they do an amazing job. So one of the coolest parts about this choreography, about all of it, was that if you watch every piece, it's drawing your eye to a different part of the stage. So when the girls come out, they come out fast and they do a lot of different things. Like they do cross pulls. If you watch Crystal, she does a cross pull into her high kick. Now that high kick, if you want to do that, I do have a skills class on high kicks. You really have to make sure, number one, you see her like pause for a moment before she does the high kick because she has to make sure she's stable and engaging her core. Her foot is nice and firm on the surface and then she can do that kick. But that kick won't work unless you're really, really controlling your abs and kind of pushing your body forward a little bit. So you see her do that and then everyone comes out absolutely beautiful, stunning. And then Ashley comes out and Ashley does like a rolling spin as she gets into her position and draws the camera into her. Perfect placement on her hand to not cover her eyes and not go too low. So she does a perfect like pull in with her hand to the camera. Spectacular. And Crystal comes in. You can't see her feet in the moment, but she probably does a forward to back transition, almost like a spread eagle with a quick turn of the foot. So kind of a heel to heel, kind of a spread eagle transition to turn from forward to backward. Right before that though, before Crystal takes off, her and her foot and Ashley's foot gets so close. At least it looks like it to the camera. Performing live like this is so stressful. It was the most watched Super Bowl show. And when you're doing anything, but especially when you're on wheels, so many things can go wrong so quickly. And to have that many eyes on you is so stressful. So there are a lot of little moments that like something could have gone wrong, but it didn't. Everyone powered through. So I just want to make sure I am noticing that because it is spectacular how well this went down. When the girls look back, your eyes go back to the band and the band claps. That draws your attention to them so that now the two girls coming through that are going to do a split, your eyes are fully on them, which is so smart. So smart. So this split, them taking those two steps, it might seem simple. Yeah, it's just two steps to get those perfectly on time with each other with the perfect body movement takes so much rehearsal. And I am sure that their rehearsals were very long for this to make sure all of this was spot on. But they go into a split. Now they swoop their right leg in front, which is so smart to get to the ground. And then they lift their left leg over to do a split. Now that right leg in front, putting their butt on the ground slows them down so that they can hit their mark with their left leg in front. And then it's complete chaos after that. So the chaos starts when everyone starts spinning and the musician runs off the stage. She's like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> and she does have to get out of there because the next part is the most insane part of the show. So now the guys are gonna come through. They are wild. The control that they have is absolutely out of this world. When they bust on out of here, 
wa just watch a few times through because it's insane. So the first skater through does a one-handed kick over, one-handed flip. He has so much control that he can just bust that out and then not get thrown. Your momentum is all going forward and he has to control his upper body so much and you see him go forward, but he doesn't lose his balance. And then he goes into a travel on one foot. So when you do one foot turns and you're turning continuously on that foot, that's called a travel or a traveling turn, traveling sequence. That is what he goes into directly out of that front flip. Now I do have a skills class on a traveling turn, not on that front flip. Amazing. He then puts his foot down, does kind of a spread eagle, kind of slows himself down and stops himself, but he has to get out of Dylan's way. Now the second skater through, Dylan, he comes through, turns backward and takes off into a jump. Now this jump is not just like a 360. He does one and a half. He does an axle basically, but off of two feet and then slows himself down enough to go into a backflip. Now there's a whole lot of other stuff happening during this. Just those two skaters alone, that's a lot. And it all happens so quick that I didn't even notice it when it was happening when I was watching it the first time through. Okay, so let's rewind again. The guys in the back have to be aware, obviously, of the first skater's legs because they're long and they have skates on the end of them. And if you get hit by that, it hurts a lot. Now, the third skater, Solomon, he comes through and he slides on his butt, arches his back, goes to his head and is in like a back bend. I don't even know what you would call this move, but he is sliding on his head and rolling on his wheels wild <laughs> like what this choreography is madness and i'm honestly obsessed with it i is just being led in every direction and it's again chaos until that backflip clears will i am so now we have him coming to his mark because the circle is going the guys are skating it might be quick it might be a blur but you have to make sure your face your moves everything is on point and the choreography, when they are doing these big circles, the choreography is causing attention. They are creating a lot of big movement. This stage is not very big. So in order to make the movement seem really big, you have to be really big. This is where Usher is supposed to hit his mark right when Will I Am turns and looks. And he turns and looks, puts his hand out, and Usher's not there. <laughs> you see Will I Am kind of like a... Uh, Hey, and he like kind of looks back. But the biggest problem that this causes is they get backed up. You see the skater kind of like stop and then you see the next skater pile up next to him. They did a great job to not hit each other, to not mess anything up, but you have to adapt really quickly when you're doing a live show. And this is a great example of that. Usher comes out, it's a little messy. Obviously he's in a hurry. He makes it work. He almost hits the skater as he comes out, but he doesn't. So he does rotations. He does a lot of heel to heel rotations. He does a lot of cross pulls. Again, he has to pick up speed because he's late. He probably has a lot of room in front of him, not much room in back of him because he was late to the party. So the smile on his face is so genuine and you can tell that he loves to skate. He is loving this. Obviously, performing at the halftime is a big, big deal, but he is doing something he truly loves and he is having a blast, you can tell. Um, then he rolls into the choreography and they needed a moment because that was a lot. So they had the chaos and then they have to slow it down for themselves and for the audience because the audience needs to be able to take a break for a moment, take a breath. So they go into a dribble or slingshot. I say that because it's called both things. I call it a dribble slash slingshot on the site and in the membership. But this, they do it really slow. They have about six counts. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they stop. Usher is obviously, he's done a lot already up to this. So he's tired. So his is a little bit messy, little bit. I have the third dribble, 
He's on. It's great. Um, now they stop in a T position. While the skaters go into that T position, Usher goes into a spin. So we want to cause a little bit of chaos. The camera starts moving as the skaters go into their quick steppy choreography. Now, I wrote out this choreography because that's the best way that I learn choreography. They jump out really wide and then they go to heel toe manual. Their right knee goes up, it goes down. They step out with their left. They cross their left behind, then step out, push to the right, kick the left in front, put that down, cross the right behind, and then they dip on out of it. Now, the skaters are pretty free after this. So they are freestyling in this circle. Now I say they're freestyling, but honestly, they probably planned very specifically what each of them were going to do. And then you see here, Usher is supposed to go directly from that circle through Will I Am's feet. Now, number one, going through, sliding through anyone's feet is super, super dangerous because you don't want to take the legs out from the person standing. You see him panic right here. He's in like a cross pull. The skaters are having the time of their lives, but they're watching him. They're like, we got to nail this. So he panics and he does a cross pull kind of to get back because he went too far. The fact that he didn't knock Will I Am down is absolutely amazing. He slides through and the guy gets air because he's trying to make the timing work. There's nothing on the ground. Taylor was watching this with me because I was pointing it out and he's like, no, maybe his hands are on the ground. His hands are not on the ground. His hands are up. He's praying, quite literally. His hands are up because he doesn't want to hit anything on his way through. And then he goes into like a half split, gets himself up. The fact that he did this was late and still accomplished it is out of this world. <laughs> It's amazing. And he gets up, almost falls down, but doesn't. <laughs> and then he collects himself, does a little spin, does a little cross pull, does another cross pull to get off stage. Out of this world, like just number one, the fact that roller skaters were on it. Number two, the routine was so good. The choreography was so good. Number three, Usher did an amazing job. Like <laughs> there were so many wild skills, but also so many skills that anyone can learn. That dribble is the main moment, at least for me, that I remember. That slow dribble, it's just finding your own rhythm in your body. And it all came together so smoothly. How they fixed it as they went was so good. That is like a full-on lesson in live performing. That was phenomenal. You can learn these things. Again, like I said, I have so many tutorials on these moves and so many others on my website and right here on YouTube. The memberships, the course, it will teach you everything you need to learn on roller skates. And I've been doing this for my entire life. So everything that I can share with you as I learn and as I go through life and what I have learned in the past, I just want to share it all. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this breakdown with me. There will be more. Please let me know what videos you want me to break down, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff, and I will see you later. Bye. Wow. I told Taylor I, I probably wasn't going to be able to talk for 30 minutes, and I talked for 31 minutes and three seconds. I love roller skating.